So the first summer transfer has been confirmed and has happened today. Now, as we get closer to the summer, more and more transfers are going to happen. I'm really excited to bring you guys this video here today because we have a few rumors, quite a few rumors, but we've also got a confirmed one, which has happened literally this morning. As soon as any transfer happens towards the summer, then when we hit the summer, I'm going to bring you guys the videos, okay? As soon as they happen, like ASAP news, breaking news, if you like. If you want to support the transfer series, it'd be fantastic if you could drop a like down below. And if you're interested in one of the exclusive hats I've designed, there'll be a link in the top left or right hand corner. So here we are, down the line. Of course, we are literally in March right now, coming into April. And, you know, it's a bit of a crazy one. We've already had a big transfer, big Premier League player, massive, massive player. Should we get straight into it? I think we're good. We've got Bastian Schweinsteig, who's announced today he's going to be joining Chicago Fire. Now, his time at Man United didn't go as planned. You know, didn't go as planned for him, the club, everyone. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened between Mourinho and him. Like, Mourinho didn't really give him too many chances. He only played, like, two or three times this year. And quite frankly, I'm a Manchester United fan. I think he deserves much better than Manchester United, okay? And what we've treated him has not been good enough for the player he is. He deserves much better. I'm happy that he's moved on for his, for his own sake, to be honest. I'm, I thought he would go to MLS eventually, whether it be LA Galaxy, I don't know. But he's gone to Chicago Fire, which I think is a good move for him too. Now, he actually came out and left a really classy message today, obviously, to all the Mano fans saying thank you and stuff. That was a really nice touch to say goodbye to everyone because, you no, know, he's actually in all the Mano fans' hearts, mate. Everyone loves him. He's a very likable character. Obviously, he says, you know, he didn't go to plan as what he, well as he would want wanted to at Man United and stuff, but he's very happy that he won their fake cup and stuff like that. So it's not been a complete waste of time for him. It's not been, you know, a complete waste. Now, the rumours has it, he's actually signed a one-year deal with Chicago Fire. This is all down to visa and stuff like that and international clearance, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to happen, but just whether, you know, his visa gets rejected. And I don't think he's committed too many crimes to probably have that rejected. Now, of course, he's going now because of, obviously, you don't have to wait till the summer or whatever. The MLS transfer window is a bit different to, obviously, our one over here. Good luck to, obviously, Schweinsteiger, obviously, in the MLS. Hopefully, he does really, really well. Now, let's move on to some rumours now in this video, okay, we've got lots of players that could be going to certain clubs this summer, so we've got a confirmed one, and then we've got a rumour one, okay, so it's a joint episode. No, it's not clickbait, no, it's not misleading, mate, Schweinsteiger's confirmed done deal. It's time for some rumours now. I think this is a really, really strange one, I'm going to talk about this one because we've got a player leaving Man United, we've got a player potentially coming to Man United now, I know a lot of you have got me saying, oh, you do so many Man United players, but I'm afraid they're the ones with the money, and they're the ones linked to loads of players. I'm not the one that makes the rumours and links up, but believe it or not, we've actually got Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain apparently going to Man Manchester United. That is mad, alright? That is really, really weird. Alex Oxley chamberlain could leave Arsenal for Jose Mourinho's ambitious Red Devils. Huge news. Now, the England international said he's not going to sign a new deal, a new Gunners deal, apparently, and he could be set for a controversial switch to Old Trafford, a bit like the Van Persie style. The winger is out of contract in 2018 next year, but feels underappreciated, okay, by boss Arsene Wenger, apparently. That's what the newspapers are saying. So, apparently, he's part of Arsenal's, you know, future. He's a very, very big key part in that, but still, that's not enough for him to sign a new deal, according to this newspaper. Paper. It got a bit boring just talking about Ertz or Sanchez leaving and stuff. You know, that news is pretty boring. So I'll stay chained with one. It's, it's a nice bit of news because it spices it up a little bit. It spices up these episodes and it does spice up the world, okay, of transfer news. Well, Arsenal fans, you've got to be pretty shocked by that, haven't you? Because I'd be pretty shocked by that. Alex Oxley chained just feels like the sort of player that wouldn't go. But yeah. So for the Arsenal fans in this episode, I think it's fair because, you know, you've had a lot of criticism. You've had a lot of players potentially leaving and stuff. Let's take a look at a player that could be joining. Although I've heard different rumours today, okay, breaking news rumours today. Now we've got the one and only Lack Lacazette, okay, apparently your interest in him has been renewed, you're very interested in signing Lacazette again, but this is taking a little bit of a twist today. So this Lacazette article is like a few days old and stuff like that, but apparently, according to reports today, he has agreed to go to Real Madrid, Lacazette, apparently, alright, but this could, this could go either way. Apparently Lacazette is top of Arsenal's wish list in the summer sign-ins, of course, which I think you've all known about or whatever, but this is not, this is nothing new, okay, that's not a shock, but the fact that apparently he's agreed to go to Real Madrid is a shock, so I have to feature that and talk about it in this video. Okay, this is getting stranger now. We've got Metro, okay, different articles are saying it's Atletico Madrid. He's, a, you know, they've reached agreement to go to this. It's not Real Madrid, it's Atletico. So this is this room is getting a bit weirder. But the Sun and the Metro are both saying Atletico Madrid, okay? So Arsenal, you could lose that this striker to Atletico Madrid. Apparently it's only a verbal agreement in the minute, so anything to change, but that's pretty pretty big step, bar, to be honest. Apparently Atletico CEO, okay, met with Leon Striker and his agent back in, well, last month, and they did actually reach a verbal agreement with the French international. Apparently, obviously, them potentially moving to a new stadium, their future plans and playing with Griezmann is a big factor in that. Will Griezmann stay? I don't know, just, you know, just adds a bit more spice to it. 
I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move on to another player. This is getting a bit mad. This is getting a bit too much. Now for the third player, we got a player potentially joining. Okay, Chelsea, and this guy is a new guy who just burst into the scene from Monaco. Now Chelsea, our favourites to sign Monaco star Baka Yoko. If I pronounce that right, hopefully I have. Antonio Conte is a keen admirer of the French midfielder, and he favours a move to the Blues. Apparently, there's a few other teams interested in this guy, but apparently the Blues are the number one destination for him. If you would have seen him playing against Man City and stuff recently in the Champions League. Obviously, Monaco did bits against Man City. They did lots of stuff, to be honest. They're fantastic team at the minute. And believe it or not, a 22-year-old French midfielder has been called up to the national team to replace the injured Paul Pogba. All right? So that's pretty decent for him anyway. Now, he apparently has said that he wants to favour a move to the Premier League, all right? Or Premier League champions elect who are in turn willing to spend big money this summer to revamp their squad. Do you need revamping after winning the Premier League? I don't know. Okay, so the rumour has it that Chelsea are no longer interested in Nainggolan and they're now going for Baka Yoko instead. So that is a little bit of an interesting one. It's time to move on to the fourth player of the episode. And I've got to be honest, I'm I'm pretty shocked to bring you this one, to be fair. I am pretty shocked. So there are the two clubs, two London clubs interested in signing this Premier League star. And it goes by the name of Ross Barkley. And apparently Arsenal were interested in signing him. But so are Tottenham. And Tottenham apparently might be leading the race. I don't really know. I could have put either on the card. I could have put Tottenham. I could have put Arsenal. Which I, well, I did put Arsenal. But apparently Tottenham are just leading the race to sign Barkley. Maybe that's all dependent now Tottenham finish this year. I don't really know. Tottenham are reportedly leading the chase for the transfer of Arsenal or Everton midfielder Ross Barkley, despite recent strong links with rivals Arsenal. That was sounded that well. I made that I made that bad. The England International will be in the final year of his contract next season, sparking recent rumours that he could be off set well, it could be off for a cut price deal this summer. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. Now, believe it or not, our Everton manager, Ronald Coman's actually come out and said he's admitted that his club are under pressure to sell, saying he needs to sign a new contract or you are to sell the player. So he's saying Ross Barkley, mate, if you don't sign a new contract, you're gone. And th that would obviously be the case anyway. Like he doesn't really really need to come out and say that we all know that would be the case but you know he's just letting he's just letting it know i do think tottenham could be a good fit for barkley i think arsenal might be quite a good fit for barkley as well i don't really know which he would rather go to i mean it might depend because tottenham are going to finish high in arsenal this year so that could be a massive dependent you know if arsenal don't get champions league football then it's obvious which one he's going to go to but i don't know if, he, if tottenham looks like the favorites to me last but not least we've got a rumor that is no surprise to anyone now daily mail guardian everyone's talked about this one again the last two days coutinho Coutinho, however you want to pronounce it, to Barcelona again. Now, the Brazilian ace has not long signed a new contract, but that means nothing in today in football. That means absolutely nothing because people sign new contracts and they're sold six months later. That really does mean nothing. Barcelona also interested in Marco Verratti, but Coutinho, Coutinho, I don't even know, mate. People always mug me off how I pronounce it. Apparently, is the top of the transfer list. So, as you know, Barcelona coach is leaving. They want to have a massive... So, as you know, the Barcelona coach is leaving. They want to have a massive overhaul of players, okay? They want to try and get some new ones in there. They want to try and get rid of some. Coutinho, Mavrati, Two very, very good players. And that would change around their squad nicely. Liverpool star Coutinho has been continuously linked with a move to the Spanish champions. But his club form has dipped in recent months since returning from an ankle injury in January. I don't think that's really going to mess up the transfer, to be fair. Verratti's actually come out and said, Even though I am currently in a good project and I feel at home, any player would play for Barcelona. That's what Verratti's actually come out and said recently. So, yes, guys, we have five rumours. We have one confirmed. Schweinsteiger, the Chicago Fire, confirmed. The player leading the Premier League, absolute concrete confirmed. Farm, unless that visa gets rejected. Hopefully, it doesn't. Now, just quickly at the end of the video, if you guys are still watching, I want to let you know of my the percentages, okay, what I think these transfers will or won't happen. I want to talk about them very, yeah, very quickly. First up, we got Alex Oxley chained in Manchester United. I do think that's a 50 50. Now, there have been rumors for the last couple of weeks that he wants to leave Arsenal, and I think a few players will leave at the end of the season, especially if Wenger goes. So, I do think that's 50 50. To Man United, though, I don't know, like that's pretty controversial, but I guess he would take it. It's a big move, isn't it? I guess he would take it. Lacazette Arsenal, I think that's like a 10% chance in a minute. I feel like Atletico really have agreed a verbal deal with him. Not very likely he could be going to Arsenal, is it? But, you know, Arsenal got the money for him, so they could come in with a late bid just to, you know, mix it up a little bit. Baka Yoko have got to Chelsea, and this guy I think will move. He said he wants to play in the Premier League, so I do think there's like a 60% chance, maybe 50-50. I don't know. I could easily be massively wrong on that one. Ross Barkley at Arsenal, I think there's like a 10% chance of that happening, because I think it depends when Arsenal's going to finish, and if they go Champions League, he's definitely going to go Tottenham instead of Arsenal, and yeah, he's not going to sign a deal with Everton, so he could be on his way. So, Tottenham probably most likely. Last but not least, we've got Coutinho to Barcelona. I do think this move will definitely happen one day. So, I'm going to have to say 50-50 for this summer, but it could happen next year. So, I think it will happen one day. If you are also interested in getting involved with some of the transfer rumor stuff, obviously my Twitter link will be in the description down below. My Instagram will be in the description down below once again. A lot of you have continuously like sent me like articles and stuff like that on Insta and like DMs or Twitter. You've been sending me lots of stuff. I can use these videos if you want me to. That's just a little way you guys can actually get involved in the videos if you obviously choose to. Now, of course, everything you need is in the description. 
last but not least, I cannot wait for these series to get back up and going for the summer transfers. Obviously, in January and December, it was really, really big on my channel. And I'm looking forward to bringing it once again in the summer. On a last, last, last note before this video ends, I uploaded a Sunday League video on Sunday, which is obviously like two days ago from now. The video didn't really do that well. A lot of you don't really want to see that series anymore. Obviously, I brought it to you guys a lot last year, which is fair enough. If you don't want to see it, you don't want to see it anymore. But I would super appreciate if you could check out the episode from Sunday. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this has been a bit of a different, awesome video because we actually got some, some confirmed news in this one. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Can we smash 3,000 likes? That'd be absolutely insane. I'm out. Hasn't been as always, guys. Take it easy. Peace.